guys, it's ASB YT, and today in the studio we have the brand new Realme 8 Pro and a couple of other accessories as well. They're all due to launch this month, and I believe this might be one of the first videos on these. So a thumbs up for that would be much appreciated. And thanks to Gigabyte for sponsoring today's video. So in the middle, we have the Realme 8 Pro smartphone. On the left, we have the Realme Watch S Pro and the Realme Buds Air 2 on the right hand side. And like I said, all of these are due to launch this month. I will have videos coming very soon on both of these two, so sub for that. But for right now, let's focus on the Realme 8 Pro. And straight away, you'll notice, before we get to the unboxing, a little camera sensor here. And uh, this was sent as well from Realme. And this is the exact example of the 108 megapixel sensor, which comes inside the smartphone. Now, there's very little I can actually share with you on this product right now due to an embargo. My full review will, of course, be coming very soon. But let's delve into what I can share with you, starting with a quick unboxing. And <laughs> I've lost my unboxing knife. So I'm going to be... I mean, look at the state of this. You call this professional? <laughs> I'm using a hoover end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not even it's not even cutting it to be honest. Do I use my teeth? Don't try this at home. Right, I have been able to prize open the packaging. And let's take a look at the actual unboxing experience. So we have of course black and yellow box. We won't do the meme. And inside we have our manual. I'm guessing manual and case and it's your classic silicon Nothing too crazy. Then we've got the phone, which we will put to one side. And then we also have our charger and charging cable. And this is, of course, the Super Dart Charge, which Realme have introduced. And it's a Type A to Type C charging cable. Let's move all the packaging to one side. Now, inside here, let's take this packaging off. And let's power this on and we'll take a look at the reverse. And I mean, this is, I don't know whether you can see that there. This is pretty unique. I'm not going to lie. You're either going to absolutely love this or it's going to be a little bit too garish for you. That's my personal opinion. It certainly appeals to a certain style of person. It's pretty funky. So it says dare to leap across here and you've got a sort of gradient finish to it. And then you have the quad camera array up here and you also have a small Realme logo here as well. I personally am not a massive fan of the big text on the side but you might be but I do really like this matte frosted finish here. Big fan of that across multiple different smartphones so uh, yeah that's a nice touch and to have the gradient as well it looks really nice and fresh nice colors as well. So as soon as you power up the phone you have the Realme UI text there. It is of course Realme UI 2.0 and the overall appearance of the display is fairly bezel-less. We do have a slight chin at the bottom and the punch hole in the top left hand side but other than that it's a pretty nice looking display and that is one of only two things that I can actually share with you right now in this video alongside of course the 108 megapixel lens and I'm going to take a couple of snaps for you so you can get a, a little idea about what we're due to expect. So I'm just going to take a little snap here of the Buds Air 2. I'll take another one of the uh, Super Dart charger as well. Bit of greenery for you as well. And this is some of what you may be expecting if you were to look to purchase this phone as and when it's available with this 108 megapixel lens. Of course, it has four. I can't go into details about what they are until the embargo lifts. As soon as that does, another video will be out and I will share all the information and my full review as well after using it for a period of time. Drop a like and sub if you want to see that content and a quick word from today's video sponsor. And that brings me nicely onto today's video sponsor, Gigabyte, who have hooked me up with one of their brand new 2021 laptops, the Aero OLED 15, which is part of the RTX 30 series. It's also ideal for those looking to game, but on their laptop instead, and also partake in some serious content creation. It has a solid aluminium body, RGB backlit keyboard, and all of the ports your heart can desire. Internally, we're looking at a 10th gen Intel Core i7 10870H CPU, and an RTX 3070 GPU. With that, you can expect the machine to cut through long 
home gaming and intensive photo and video editing sessions with ease and with this incredibly color accurate 15.6 inch Samsung AMOLED 4K display, which matches the Vesta Display HDR 400 True Black Standard, even things as simple as settling down to a nice movie is a really great experience. I have already done a full dedicated video on this, so if you want more information, go and check that out. I will leave that in the video description below, along with a link to the product page. Go and check it out and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay up to date with all of the latest and greatest tech, make sure you follow me on my other social medias, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. You know the drill. I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.